It was a famous novel turned into a famous movie with a famous actor named Clark. No, not me. I've waited longer for you than I've ever waited for any woman. This week, we road trip to Midtown to check out the Margaret Mitchell house. In this house, she wrote about 85% of her book here in this apartment that she referred to as the dump. It's a small space, and I can kind of see how being all cramped up here might just make you a little, shall we say, eccentric. So as she wrote the book, she hid different chapters oh, around wow. the apartment because she didn't want anyone to know she was writing a novel. You don't think she might have forgotten a chapter or something that we might... I hope not. Maybe we the, might come across it eventually. The lost chapter. Here it is. <laughs> hey, there's so much to learn here. Like, what was that famous line again? Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear. Would you believe that line cost the studio $5,000 in the 1930s? That's about $100,000 today. But of course, movies are so much cleaner now. How do you think it compares to the Avengers Endgame? Oh, well, I've seen Endgame, and it's a lot shorter than Gone <laughs> with the Wind, so. Then we headed upstairs to check out the movie's premiere at the Old Lowe's Theater and move over Super Bowl. This was way bigger. Wow, look at this right here. I mean, it looks like it's a, a ticker tape New Year's Eve night or something yep. here. So streets are jam packed, cars can barely make it through. And um, if we think about Atlanta traffic now, this would, this would be a nightmare. And this is Margaret Mitchell's night and the people of Atlanta's night. The most stirring exhibit is saved for the end. Hattie McDaniel winning an Oscar. Um, and Hattie McDaniel is the first uh, African American to win an Oscar. I sincerely hope I shall always be a credit to my race and to the motion picture industry. My heart is too full to tell you just how I feel. I'm, I'm ready to tear up right here. Amazing. Let's face it, not just the house, the novel, the movie, this is all part of Atlanta history. And you know what? I hope we don't get fined, but I've got to say it. Crash, don't even think about it. <laughs> she gonna, said. Uh, I was going to recreate the, the famous scene and take her up the stairs, and she said, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Awesome. I didn't even know that was here. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's right down Peachtree. I mean, we pass it so many times, and it really is a lot of history. There's a museum in there. You can see some of the mm -hmm. artifacts. Mm -hmm. uh, Margaret Mitchell, very, very short. So her little <laughs> desk is very tiny. How short so. now? How short are we talking? How petite? She's I, I, like 4'2". Uh, like what? really little, like real, like oh, tight, like wow. you like you could beat her one on one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she but, can beat her. But that la the last part we saw, um, uh, while the actress who played Mamie was accepting her Oscar, mm -hmm. she was not even invited to the premiere. I believe it because you know being of color at back then, and Clark Gable really set things right and and was just like you know this is. He stood up, which wow, was which was, great. Yeah, very awesome powerful. Story. Go check it out. Margaret Mitchell House, very powerful. And it remains the top grossing movie of all time still. Yep, yep. Still. Well, Avengers Endgame wow. is getting close. <laughs> 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 all right, uh, weather-wise, Chesley, what's going on?